On the 4th of August 2021, Lasha Talakadze of Georgia began warming up, fully aware that he was about to make sporting history. See, all other weightlifters ever use their six attempts, three in the snatch and three in the clean and jerk, to see what they might be capable of that day, to see what fruits their training has bore. But Lasha seems either entirely aware of what he is capable of and just lifts below that maximum, still head and shoulders above the rest, or he is so technically precise that he can truly lift his maximum effort weights without real fear of missing. Either way, he doesn't miss. He knows that he's going to make history, and he and his coach, Georgi Asinidze, simply decide just how much history they are willing to show us on any given day. It's like they hold the key to the mythical 500 kilo total, and they decide to let us in on a few kilos of it at a time. I said this in a previous video, but it holds true even more so today. When Lasha selects a third attempt, we don't think, oh great, I can't wait to see if Lasha can make this lift now. We think, oh great, I can't wait to see Lasha make this lift that we already knew he was capable of making. As though he just gradually lets us in on a secret that we knew all along. In fact, if he does ever total 500 kilos, or even 501 kilos in order to earn the undisputed title of the greatest ever based on medals and Sinclair, it will have felt like a sort of tongue-in-cheek joke where he knew all along that he was that guy, that guy capable of something never seen before but that he decided to really slowly draw the curtain back, gradually revealing his final evolution, only to show us that it was him all along, that he hasn't changed, that he's always been the same person capable of this formidable total. So what you're watching here in this video is a man with supreme self-confidence, warming up for the heaviest total ever, a 223 kilo snatch and a 265 kilo cleaner jerk, a total of 488 kilos, 13 kilos or 2.7% above the strongest other weightlifter ever, Leonid Taranenko, who totaled 13 kilos less than him. That is the same as someone running alongside Usain Bolt's world record 9.58 and running a 9.33. When I said at the start that all other weightlifters, ever, use their six attempts to see what they might be able to do, unlike Lasher who just reveals something below his capabilities, I really do mean that. Even the greatest of the greats, the four weightlifters who have a higher Sinclair than him, can't do what he does the way that he does it. Yuri Zakarevich, Viktor Solodov, and Yurok Vardanyan might out Sinclair him 489 to 488, but they fought tooth and nail, or hammer and sickle, to reach those numbers. Even Naim Suleimanolu, the undisputed goat, didn't hit his 500 Sinclair effortlessly, and his 488 level Sinclair, Slash's current best, were a fight to achieve. Naeem lost several times throughout his career, during the beginning, middle and end. I think Lash's only loss will remain in the beginning. In fact, there has never been a weightlifter who existed with such a gap between him or her and their competition, even historically. Naeem had Valerius Leonidas, Jörg Vardanyan had Asen Zlatev, Blagoj Blagoev had Anatoly Kripati, Bulgaria had the Soviet Union and China had Kazakhstan. But Lasha has... who? Taranenko is 13 kilos behind. K1 
Mikhailovich is 15.5 kilos behind. Even Pizarenko is 23 kilos behind. <laughs> At this competition in Tokyo at the Olympics, Lasher snatched 208 kilos, 215 kilos, and 223 kilos, and he clean and jerked 245, 55, and 65, snatching his world record from the last Olympic Games on his second attempt, meaning that he had furthered the world record basically single-handedly, other than a 216 kilo blip by Salimi, from 214 kilos to 223 kilos over the last five years, and the total from 475 kilos to 488 kilos over that same period. From Rio to Tokyo, Lasher has set 23 world records. He is over halfway through no man's land, from Taranenko to the mythical 500. How we got this footage, and believe me, it wasn't easy to do, you don't need to know, but thank God we did, because it offers us a view into the build-up to greatness. Seeing just the competition lifts is to me like seeing only the layups and shots in a basketball game, or the final sprint of a 5k. You lose all of the context that makes the moment a moment. The heaviest eight snatches ever now all belong to Lasha Telekadze, who has also snatched 210 kilos or more 20 times. In fact, Lasha has made his last 21 competition snatches, and the one that he missed before that in his defense involved an 11 kilo jump to follow himself from 210 to 221 kilos, the biggest jump he's ever made. Ignoring that, he's made his last 39 snatches, and if we include his clean and jerks, he hasn't missed an attempt for his last 73 competition lifts. <laughs> The odds of him missing now seem to be decreasing over time, which goes against all logic, and the chances of his 500 kilo total only seem to be climbing. With Lasher, he doesn't try to make totals. He makes totals. He shows us what he's capable of. He lets us peek behind the curtain. He reveals history to us bit by bit. At this point, all you can really say is, I believe. So grab your Lasher 500 I Believe t-shirt at the link below or learn more about his life and the lives of the other 69 best weightlifters ever in the Greatest Weightlifters of All Time book. He has the clean, does he have the record? Oh, you're joking!